Hello, it's me, Robin, with Simple Food, Simple Life. Today, we're going to make meatloaf out of ground turkey. You can spend less and still have that delicious meatloaf you love. So stick around, you don't want to miss it. Thanks for joining me today. You know the prices of everything is going up. It's actually going up exponentially, and that means very high and very fast. <laughs> uh, it's hard to keep up with the prices of things right now. One of the things that are going up, which I've been noticing for a while, is ground beef. Uh, I haven't bought ground beef in quite a long time because, frankly, the price is just too high for me. Um, it's up uh, $4 a pound, depending on what you get, $5, $6 a pound. Um, that is a lot, and it is a big hit for, um, I mean, a big hit in the money belt for, not like the big hit on the top 40, but big hit in the money belt for people with families um, who rely on ground beef for quite a few of their meals. Um, it's um, not good, but it's what we have to deal with right now. So today I'm going to uh, make a meatloaf, which I've been kind of hungry for a meatloaf, but I'm sorry, I'm not going to spend that money on ground beef. So I've been buying ground turkey for quite a while now. And um, so I want to show you what I have in my big bowl here. <clears throat> These are the ingredients for the, the turkey meatloaf. Uh, sometimes a good old meatloaf just tastes good, doesn't it? So I'm kind of hungry for that. And um, also, you can get some good mileage out of a meatloaf, meatloaf sandwiches, etc. Who doesn't like a meatloaf sandwich? I do. So, this is what I'm going to use um, to make this meatloaf. Uh, I got a pound of <clears throat> ground turkey. Now, this turkey is from Aldi. Um, it is $1.99 for the pound. It's 85% lean, 15% fat. Um, this turkey, ground turkey, cost $1.99 for the pound. Now, you can buy two pounds of the ground turkey, and by the way, this is, comes frozen. I've thawed this out in my refrigerator. Um, you could buy two pounds of ground turkey for less than, at this moment in time, at this time, you can buy two pounds of ground turkey for less than one pound of ground beef um, and with the same lean fat ratio. Um, the other thing I'm going to use as a filler for my meatloaf is soda crackers. Uh, these, I'm going to use crushed up soda crackers. Now, these are saltines that come from Aldi as well. These cost 79 cents for the box with um, four sleeves like this. It's called a sleeve in the box. So, 79 cents. I'm also going to be using some eggs, one or two eggs. Um, it depends. <clears throat> These eggs, uh, large eggs, are currently uh, $1.16 a dozen. Keep in mind these prices are all subject to change. And, and I live in Iowa, so wherever you live, I suppose that, that is uh, dependent on that as well. I've got some ketchup, which I'm going to put in. This is um, Berman's ketchup, which is also from Aldi. Uh, this ketchup is, I don't know, 89 cents, something like that, if I recall. I'm also going to use, I haven't quite decided, I'm either going to use part of this fresh onion, or I'm going to use some onion, an envelope of onion soup mix, which I may do because I've had this for a while, and I really should use this up. Um, 
and I this also come from Aldi. Now I just happened to notice, this is interesting as I'm holding this box up, I noticed that on the side there is a recipe for hearty meatloaf. Um, very interesting. I may kind of use this, adapt this recipe. Um, this calls for two pounds of ground beef, but I could easily cut this in half and just use my one pound. Okay, isn't that interesting? Alrighty, um, let's get started and I'm going to assemble the meatloaf and um, then we're going to go from there, okay? And honestly, if this, um, using this recipe, I might just, I don't know, I might post this recipe if I use it. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, thank you, Chef's Cupboard. Onion recipe soup and dip mix. All right. Uh, so let's get going. chatted with you, but there's no point in chatting with you while I'm crumbling up the crackers. <laughs> Alright. I just went ahead and crumbled up the whole sleeve, but I'm going to use a cup. Cup of crushed soda crackers. You can use breadcrumbs if you want to. That's okay. Um... Uh, when I was growing up, my mom used um, the recipe for a meatloaf on the Quaker Oats box, and she put oats in her. She put oats in her meatloaf. That was the binder along with egg. So, let's open up this package here. got to get every morsel, don't we? Cost money. <laughs> How is everybody doing um, in this uh, this tough time? It's kind of tough right now. Let me rinse my hands off real quick. Is anybody else <clears throat> feeling the pinch? You'll have to excuse my voice. I get hoarse sometimes because um, I don't know why. Uh, I just do. And I don't know whether it's a sinus thing. I have no clue. <coughs> anyway, so used to be called a whiskey tenor. <laughs> That's what they call that kind of voice. But anyway, I um, do get that way. So you'll have to pardon me. Now I'm going to use one egg. I'm, I'm going along with the recipe that was on the side of the um, onion soup mix box. So I'm going to cut that recipe in half. Pretty much. Um, 
it kind of depends. So now I'm going to put the onion soup mix in there. This says it's best if used by October 15, 2021. Okay, that's why I need to use this up for that very reason. <coughs> and I'm going to put some ketchup in here. Put um, however much you like. Now keep in mind if if it's uh, if you don't have enough egg, you can always put more egg in. If there's not enough filler, crackers, breadcrumbs, etc., just put more in. That's fine. Uh, you can adjust. Speaking of which, I should put some salt in here, even though these are saltines. Yes, yes, I know. And I'm going to put some pepper as well. Let's do a little more. I love pepper. It's awesome. All right. <clears throat> May put a little more ketchup in here. I don't know. I'm getting this started, but <clears throat> eventually I'm going to get in there with my handy pandies and mix this up. Because sometimes you just have to feel it with your hands in order to really, really know if it's mixed properly. I feel like I want some more cracker crumbs in there. The, the, the crumbs, not only do they act as a filler, in other words, they bind, a binder, they bind your, oh, heck with it, let's use the whole fleet. Um, not only do they bind uh, the meat loaf together, it acts as a filler, which extends your meatloaf. Now the reason I'm putting more crackers in there is because uh, turkey, ground turkey, tends to be a little more mushy, a little more wet than, than other than ground beef or some other ground meat. Sometimes you can find a good price per pound on sausage as well. If you can find that and you want to combine the ground turkey with the ground sausage, by all means, do that. That would be perfectly fine. If you can find hamburger on sale, which I have not been able to do. I do check the ads every week, but I haven't been able to find it. So, alright. Now, that recipe on the box says you can use a 13 by 9 pan. I, this is a much smaller amount because it's only a pound of ground turkey. So I'm going to wash my hands very quickly. Awesome. And I'm going to get out a a pan to put this in. You could use a loaf pan. You could form it, shape it into a loaf and put it on a um, baking sheet if you want to. I'm going to use a, a smaller uh, baking pan which is actually probably 8 by 8 or 9 by 9. Now I'm going to spray this. I have some uh, olive oil in here. So I'm going to spray this. That might keep it from sticking too much. Anyway, I was asking how you're getting on with uh, this, with everything going up in price. Gas is up, 
groceries. Uh, some of the shelves are bare, or almost bare. I guess depending on where you go. Now, this is what I find. It's, I find it's too costly in gas to run around all over town looking for big bargains. So I, I pick my battles and I try to uh, go to one or two stores uh, like Dollar General for maybe some of my household items like aspirin, things like that. Um, and, um, but I find that you're not saving any money if you're running around all over town trying to find bargains because you're using your gas. That may not be important to you. I mean, I think that's great if it is not, but for me, it is certainly a factor to, um, make my gas dollar stretch as well. So, that, now granted, um, I'm a senior citizen, and <laughs> so I'm not going as much as a lot of people do, because you have children. I've been there, done that. You're running the back and forth to activities, etc., <clears throat> if they're still doing that kind of thing. Um... So I can keep my my running around limited. So okay, going to put this in the oven, 350 degrees, and I'm going to check it at about 30 minutes, and then um, I'm going to make up a nice little ketchup and brown sugar sauce to put on there and uh, we'll see what we got okay <laughs> all right hey thanks for sticking with me don't forget to like subscribe and share because everybody needs to know how to do this stuff I know I know some of you are having a rough time I know that sometimes I do too okay so I hope this helps and we'll come back in a, and check it in about 30 minutes while we're waiting for the meatloaf, I'm going to make up that little glaze that's going to go on the meatloaf. So, I honestly, I don't know about measurements because it depends on how big your meatloaf is, right? So, I'm using some ketchup. <coughs> and... I'm going to put in a few red pepper flakes, not very many. I'm going to put in a little bit of garlic powder. Oh my. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I had to turn around and do a sneeze, safe sneeze, not in the food, mind you. Um, those red pepper flakes came up and it was like, whoa, mama. Okay, <laughs> we're going to put in some brown sugar. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. That just came on me instantly. And, let's see, I think I'm going to put a little more in there. And I'm going to put in a little, a smidge of white vinegar. Boom, ba da boom. To offset the sweetness. Let's see what we got. Stir it up with my handy dandy trusty fork. Now as this sits, those um, pepper flakes will break down a little bit. Alright, let's see what we've got. Well, I don't know. That's pretty yummy. I'm happy with that. I'm just going to leave it. Awesome. Alright. That's it. So this will be ready. I'm going to check. I've got the timer set on 30 minutes on that meatloaf. And we'll see where we're at then. At that stage though, I will put the um, the sauce on the top. And uh, it'll make it nice. Then put it back in the oven 
for however long it takes and it'll make a nice glaze for our turkey meatloaf. Um, I hope I hope this the economy of this helps you out a little bit. Um, that is the point of some of my videos. It's simple food, simple life. It's simple food done in an economical way um, that is hopefully nutritious and delicious and sometimes just plain doggone um, uh, tasty, a tasty treat. So, okay, let's do this. You can also use this method if you don't want to make the meatloaf. You can make meatballs as well. So, uh, we will be back. Don't leave me. Okie doke. My timer went off. <clears throat> so let's check out this meatloaf so far. Well, it's looking good. I'm going to I'm going to check for doneness. That is actually nicely done at 30 minutes. So, this is going to go back in the oven after this glaze goes on, but it's not going to go in for very long because I don't want it to get overdone. So I'll probably put it back in for about, I don't know, 10 minutes. And if I need to, I will... I can pop this under the broiler to kind of bring up the sugars in this um, glaze. Which that always makes it taste really, really good. Now, if you want to put um, the used fresh onion in here, do it. If you want to put maybe some bell pepper, maybe you have bell peppers, you'd like to put that in there. Do that too. This is just a starting point. Make your meatloaf whatever you want it to be. Okay? That's the deal. Alright, back it goes in the oven. I'm going to set it on um, 5 or 10 minutes. Let's see what happens. And if I have to, I will put the broiler on. I decided to slip this under the broiler for a few minutes um, because I don't want my meatloaf to dry out. There we go. Sometimes you just have to make these decisions when you're cooking. That's how life is. <laughs> you got to be willing to make those split-second decisions. <laughs> All right. You can see where the the sugars in the ketchup has kind of got nicely um, caramelized there, which is nice. Now, this meatloaf is uh, not necessarily thick. I just did it with one pound of turkey, as you know. So. <clears throat> it depends on the size of your your pan, etc. Uh, how how much uh, ground meat you use. Uh, that's going to make a difference as well. Okay, now I want you to know you don't have to. You can use um, barbecue sauce if you have a favorite barbecue sauce. Use that if you want to on your meatloaf. That's great. Whatever you want to do. If you don't want to wait till the end to put the sauce on, put it on when you put the meatloaf into bake. You can do that as well. Just keep an eye on it. So, let us cut this. This is very hot. Very, very hot. <laughs> but I think it's going to be very, very nice. This would be good served with scalloped potatoes, mashed potatoes, um, mashed sweet potatoes, baked sweet potatoes, a baked potato, some mac and cheese. Oh my gosh, the sky is the limit when it comes to this delicious 
meatloaf. And much, much cheaper, much cheaper than ground beef. Oh, it smells delicious. It really does smell good. Okay. This is what it looks like. I think that looks pretty doggone delicious. Now, you use the ingredients. Um, uh, you uh, add more ingredients. It depends on the amount of people that you're feeding. Okay? All right. I'm going to give this a try. Okay, here we go. He's so hot. Sometimes if you don't wait for something to cool down a little bit, it's so hot you actually cannot taste it because your mouth is burning off. Wow, that's yummy. That's really, really good. Really good. Well done, Chef's Cupboard Box. Awesome. Oh, this is so good. I'm so happy. I really wanted some meatloaf. And um, now I have it. I hope this helps you. Mmm. Pardon me, I need another bite. <laughs> mm. I love the crunchy bits on the side. Don't you? Alright. I hope this helps you. Um, if I can do this, you can do it. You know you can. And sometimes things happen and um, circumstances change so we have to kind of adjust a little bit make some adjustments and sometimes even sacrifices but you know what um, we're gonna do the best we can with the tools we've got and we're going to to um, find a way to make things work okay alright listen I hope you give this a try. Um, I love you. You know I do. And I just want you to know that I'm so um, blessed to have all of you uh, in my life and watching these videos. I hope you get something from it. I really do. Okay? All right. I love you. And as always, you know that little is much when God is in it. Okay? All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.